everyone, my name is Nicole Crystal. I'm an occupational therapist at Emerge Pediatric Therapy, here to talk to you today about wraparound care. Some of you may have heard this term, uh, many of you may not, and even if you've heard it, you may not understand it. So I wanted to provide a little bit of education on what wraparound care is and how we provide wraparound care here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. So wraparound care is the process by which a care provider creates a customized plan of care that's designed to meet the most comprehensive needs of your particular child. So the idea is that the provider is providing care, which is not just addressing one particular need this child might have, but is addressing the full scope of needs your child might have, including their developmental needs, their medical needs, also taking in consideration things like cultural needs, spiritual needs, religious accommodations. Um, the care that's being provided in a wraparound model is designed to not just address one particular need, but to actually wrap around that child and meet the full scope of their needs that they, they might be coming in with. Um, in our particular setting, our goal is for you to get as many of those needs met in one place, as opposed to having to go to multiple different providers to meet your child's motor, developmental, language um, skills in different places that you could come to Emerge Pediatric Therapy and get wraparound care to meet all of those needs in one setting. So how that looks specifically at Emerge, we can talk about wraparound care in a couple of different contexts. The first is thinking about wraparound care in an individual therapeutic context. For example, if a client comes to us and the primary concern that they are having is difficulties with feeding skills, we might approach this client using a multidisciplinary approach so an OT might be involved in this child's plan of care to evaluate whether this child has the strength and coordination in their hands to be able to hold that fork, has the visual motor coordination skills to align their eyes with their hands when trying to pierce food with a fork and then bring it to their mouth without overshooting or poking themselves in the mouth. Um, an OT may also be looking at that child's postural control and whether that child has the strength to keep themselves up in their chair while eating um, for proper safe swallowing. Um, a speech therapist for that same child could be recruited to evaluate that child's language skills. Do they have the ability to communicate what kinds of foods they like and don't like? Are they able to articulate properties of those foods? For example, is the food too hot or too cold? Um, are they able to um, express dislike or even celebration of a food that they do like? Are they able to say, yum, that's delicious, or I don't like that? Um, and then a trained feeding therapist could be working specifically on the structures of the mouth, um, the mobility of the tongue, the strength of that child's jaw in order to safely chew, move food from the right to left sides of our mouth, and then safely be able to swallow our food. So that's a pretty concrete example of how wraparound care might look within this interdisciplinary model at Emerge. Another way that wraparound care looks here at Emerge is that we desire to support your child, not just here in this clinic setting, but for them to be able to learn skills that generalize across different settings. For example, um, the therapist here at Emerge can participate in your child's individualized educational plan meetings, um, helping to provide education and support to the classroom staff on what sorts of accommodations and strategies that your child might need to be most successful in the classroom. Um, your child's therapist, uh, for example, in the um, previous example of the feeding specific therapy, uh, maybe your child's feeding therapist is communicating directly with your child's physician, maybe your primary care doctor, maybe a specialist like an ear, nose and throat doctor, um, providing some education around what that child's range of motion and mobility is inside their mouth. And this might advise the need for future, future medical intervention to help this child be able to safely eat and swallow their food in the future. Um, we also can provide care for things like extracurricular activities. 
Let's say your child is participating in a summer camp and you would like for Emerge to talk to the summer camp staff um, to give them strategies to for how to support that child in their summer camp program. We can do that too. That is all a part of wraparound care. So I hope this helps you have a little bit more of a framework for wraparound care. And I hope that you come and see us to get your needs met here at Emerge. Um, if you have any other questions, please reach out to us um, or visit our website for more information. But um, thanks for joining today.